And I think that what Muslim theology has failed to understand about the doctrine of the Incarnation is the doctrine of the two natures of Christ. As Christians, we believe that Jesus Christ is one person, but that he has both a divine nature and a human nature. And in his divine nature, he is omnipotent, all-knowing, uh, uh, timeless, spaceless, or, or whatever. It is his human nature that is like ours, that is spatially located, uh, weak, limited in power, and, and so forth. And therefore, his, these limitations on his human nature have simply no effect whatsoever on his divine nature. Indeed, I would think of being is greater who has the ability to take on a human nature and be incarnate as a human being. Now, where my critique of the Muslim concept of God would come in at this point is that I think that the Muslim concept of God is not the greatest conceivable being. I would, in, and I have, pre criticized the Muslim concept of God precisely because it isn't the greatest concept. And in what way would I say that? I think the greatest conceivable being would be an all-loving being. His, his love would be unconditional, impartial, and universal. And this is the kind of love that Jesus revealed of our Heavenly Father. By contrast, the God of the Quran is partial, his love is conditional, you have to earn it, and it is uh, not uh, universal. He does not love sinners. Over and over again, the Quran says God loves not the unbelievers. He loves not sinners. He loves not the hard neck. He only loves believers. And so for that reason, I couldn't be a Muslim. I think that the concept of God in Islam is morally inadequate.